Question 2 says two point charges are located on the y axis. A 2.5 microcoulomb charge is located at y equals 1.4 centimeters, and a negative 2.06 microcoulomb charge is located at y equals negative 1.6 centimeters. A. Find the total electric potential at the origin, and B. Find the total electric potential at a point having coordinates of 1.5 centimeters for x and 0 for y. Now, for most of the chapter, it talks about finding the change, the change of electric potential. But in this particular problem, we need to be able to find not the change, but the actual electric potential due to a point charge. And so the textbook actually gives us the equation. It doesn't show us how to derive it because it says it has to be derived uh, via calculus. And so, being that this is an algebra-based course, it just gives us the equation, and it's Ke, or the, the Coulomb's constant, times the charge divided by the radius. So that's the electric potential uh, of a point charge. So we need to find the electric potential of this point charge on this uh, position, and the electric potential of this point charge on this position. Now, the electric potential is a scalar quantity, so once we find this, and we can add it to this, and that'll be our answer. So let's set this all up. Let's call this Q1, and then let's call this uh, blue down here Q2. And then again, the red at the top, we're going to call this Y1, and then this blue down at the bottom, we're going to call this Y2. So we want to say that the electric potential of charge 1 is equal to uh, 8.99, 8.99 times 10 to the 10 to the ninth times times the, now we're in microcoulombs, so we got to change that to coulombs, so it's 2.5 times 10 to the negative 6, 2.5 times 10 to the negative 6, divide it by the radius, now we're in centimeters, so remember to put that in meters, so 0 0.014 meters. Now, when you multiply this negative to the negative 6 by the positive 9th, you're still going to get an outlandishly large number. You should get that V1 is equal to uh, 1605357.143. Then we're going to do V2. So v, V2 is equal to, of course, 8.99. I'm just going to put Ke times. And it's going to be, uh, since, uh, since our charge is negative, we have to put negative 1.6 times times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, divide it by, now here's the kicker, I know that our, our y location is negative 1.6, however, that doesn't matter, the negative sign doesn't matter because we don't need to know what direction because it's a scalar quantity, we just need to know the magnitude of the distance, and so we can put, uh, we can put that it's, it's uh, 0 0.016 meters. Now the last thing is, uh, we, so you multiply that out, V2 should equal approximately uh, negative 115, uh, 115.762.5, and um, so you got to add, to get V, to get the, the, the potential, I mean to get the electrical potential, at, and we'll change this to color black, so to get, to get the electrical potential at our our, at our origin, we just simply add V1, um, so V1 plus, so plus V2. And you should get the electric potential at the origin is uh, 447,894.64 volts. And now this is actually kind of nice because volts is the first time that I can remember where our symbol and where, where the symbol and the units are the same letter. For example, acceleration, the units were meters per second squared. So um, in this situation, electric potential, V, has units of V, volts. Now for part two, it wants us to find the electric potential at this point. 
Now the only thing that changes is the distance, so the distance from here to here and the distance from here to here. And so we can just use a simple distance equation. Um, distance, distance is equal to the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. And that, all of that under the square root. And what that means is if we break down all of our coordinates to x and y components. So for example, my, my uh, q1 is going to have a coordinate of, of 0, it's not letting me select my color, 0, comma, 1.4, or 0 0.014. And my point v, uh, q2 is going to have coordinates of 0, comma, negative 0 0.016 and my point P has coordinates of uh, of X is 1.1.5 or 0 0.015 comma 0 so to find the distance between here and here I do x1 0 minus x2 squared y1 minus y2 squared I add those together and I find the square root. Now what that is actually doing is it's using the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm saying that this is my side A, this is my or side this is my side A, this is my side B, and this is C. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if I find A squared and I add it to B squared, I can take the square root of both of those and get C. And the distance or the radius for for my uh, charge number one is equal to 0 0.020518, and the radius from charge number two is 0 0.021932, and those are in meters. So again, all you got to do is take this number and substitute it in right here. Take this number and substitute it in right here. You move everything out of your way so you have clean writing space. And then you get that V1 is equal to 1095364 and volts. And V2 is equal to negative 844412 volts. And so that V is equal to V1 plus V2, which is equal to uh, 25095. 2.5 volts. And that's all there is.